Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error that you're seeing on the screen. As you can see, this is a VPN error. The error says the remote connection was denied because the username and password combination you provided is not recognized or the selected authentication protocol is not permitted on the remote access server. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you a few suggestions that may help. If it still doesn't, leave a comment down below and I'll respond to you with some other steps that you can try. First things first, always, always check that the user is using the correct username and password. Make sure that the format of the username or the UPN is correct and the password is correct. So that's the number one thing. And secondly, if you've got, uh, depending on what appliances you've got um, in your networking environment, uh, whether it's Cisco appliances or Unify appliances, for example, the VPN protocol may differ. It could be IPsec, it could be MS Chat version 2, um, it could be um, without encryption. So make sure you read the respective manufacturer's documentation when it comes to setting up client-to-site VPN setups. Now also make sure that you check in case you've got radius authentication enabled to make sure that the radius authentication is working as per normal. You can test this by using a separate account to connect to the client-to-site VPN and see if that works and if it's only just one user that's having this issue. And lastly, make sure that Darlin is enabled uh, for this particular user account. So I'm going to show you how you can check that. So this is my um, test environment, and I've got a test um, user uh, with the correct VPN access and everything has been set up. Um, if I just go to the properties of this user account and click on dial in, as you can see, it says deny access. So when it's set to deny access, you will receive the error that I've just shown you before. My apologies, that's not the error. This is the error. So make sure that that setting is set to allowed. So let's just go ahead. You can click allow access. This way, um, it will work given that your setup does not contain um, radius authentication. If you've got radius authentication, that means in your on-prem environment, you're running a server with NPS service. So in that case, um, go ahead and select control access through NPS network policy. This means it will listen to the radius authentication um, queries that are forwarded to the server that's running NPS from your appliance, whether it's Cisco or Unify, and then it will um, do that communication properly and authenticate the user. Um, so depending on what your setup is, you can either select control access through NPS network policy. This is when you're running a radius authentication um, set up with your client side VPN. If you do not have that type of setup, if it's just directly um, um, connecting to um, your um, AD and authenticating your um, AD user accounts, you can also select allow access as well, depending on your setup. So just select the appropriate um, setting. In this case, I'm just going to select control access through NPS network policy and click apply and okay. All right, I hope you learned something new today and uh, this helped in troubleshooting um, the VPN error that you're seeing on the screen. If it did, um, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. Um, if the suggestions that I've given you in this video has not worked out for you, leave a comment um, in the video with the specifics of what appliances you're using um, and what your setup is consist of and I will respond uh, with some other suggestions that may help you to resolve this issue. Once again, 
Thank you for watching this video and I will catch you guys in another one. Take care. Bye-bye.